Hey kids, welcome to Unit 1, Lesson 8, Inheritance, Exercise Number 2. Today, we're going to learn about what inheritance is and how we can use it. Inheritance is a very important core concept of Java. During the last couple of lessons, I started talking about the relationships classes have. And we're going to take this a step further today. The class we've been using, the Painter class, has been a super class or a parent class. If you ran through the Painter class, you've noticed that it doesn't have a right turn. And we'd like to add that eventually. How are we going to do that? Well, we can't just add it to the Painter class. We're going to have to create a new class to do that. But we don't want to do all the work to recreate everything from the Painter class. So we want to inherit all of those attributes and behaviors and just add our new method. And that's really all inheritance is. It's letting us get the attributes and behaviors from a parent class and then add our own custom components to it. That's all it really is. Now, as we go through this class, we're going to talk a lot about is a has a relationship and all of this really fun stuff. But for right now, what you have to realize is the painter class is a super class. We're going to create a new class called painter plus, which is a subclass of the painter. We're going to inherit all the attributes and behaviors from that parent class in order to create and expand our methods. How are we going to do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do on exercise two here is we're going to create a new file name called painter plus. We're going to write the class header for painter plus. And then we're going to, in our tester class, instantiate a painter plus object. Well, that's not too bad. Before I get started, I want to talk about this import statement. We really haven't talked about it. I briefly mentioned that this asterisk actually just means the word all. If we go over to our documents, over to our class, you can see if I hit org.codeneighborhood, there's the painter. If there is more classes under there, say the Painter Plus, Drywall, or whatever it is, using this asterisk, I would import them all. I can also say Painter like this, because that's all I'm importing. So this statement is really saying import the Painter class. I just wanted to point that out because that's going to become a very important here in a minute. Let's go back to our instructions. We're going to create our subclass called Painter Plus. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to create a new file. We're going to call it this in Pascal case, uppercase, both words, Painter Plus. Make sure we have our dot Java because we need to indicate the file type and hit create. You're going to notice again, the asterisk there. We can just remove that and put Painter because that's the same thing. So we're importing the Painter class. So if we have the painter class, we want to extend those attributes and behaviors to our painter plus class. First thing we need to do is write our class header. Let's come down here. How do we do that? We want access to be public through all the classes. So we're going to write the keyword public. It is going to be a class. So we're going to put the word class and then the name of our class exactly as we created in the file above. This is going to contain things. So we need to put curly cues. I'm going to hit a couple returns here. I'm also going to comment this out. This is end of class. Now this creates a new class called painter plus, which is awesome. I could write anything I want, but if I go call roads.move, it's not going to work because painter plus doesn't know painter. It doesn't know anything yet. How do we get it to know or inherit? all of those behaviors and attributes. It's pretty simple. We write the word extends and then the class we want to extend, which is the painter class. So now painter plus our new class extends this painter class and gets all the behaviors and attributes or our methods for the painter plus class now. So it's just saying painter plus is a subclass of the painter class. After we do that, don't forget another important thing. We need to make a constructor. I'm going to call it public. We're going to call it painter plus, and we're going to put a little curly cues. Do not forget your 
parentheses. We may put some arguments in there, but for right now, it's a no argument constructor. We're just gonna put it in there like this. You're gonna notice we're starting to get more and more information. It's good to just code this stuff out. This is a constructor for the future. So we created a new file name and we wrote the class header, Painter Plus. Let's go back to neighborhood and instantiate an object. What class are we creating from? The Painter Plus class. Reference variable name, we'll use roads because I can sometimes spell it. This is definitely a new class and we are getting it from the Painter Plus constructor that I just created. Now when I hit run, my friendly little painter should pop up right there. Well, let's see if we're right. And it looks pretty good. Let's test it, see if we did everything we needed to. Well, you can see we created a painter class, we got our subclass, and we instantiated our painter plus object. Pretty neat, kids. Key takeaway from this exercise is twofold. First is how do we create a new class? We go to our new file, create our name. Remember the naming conventions we've learned, uppercase all of the words. Within the code, we use the same class header, public, because we want the access public across all of our classes. It is a class, so we use the word class. We give it a name, just like the file type. Ours is Painter Plus. And then we want to inherit it or get all of the attributes and behaviors from the Painter class. So we write extends, and then the class we want to extend, which is the Painter class. Next, I created a constructor to create my object. That's just public painter plus parentheses and two curly cues. We're gonna come back to our constructors at a later point. So don't worry too much if you're still a little confused. Remember the important thing about inheritance is we are getting all of our behaviors and attributes from our parent class or super class. Keep in mind, this only goes one way. The super class does not get any attributes or behaviors from the child class or subclass. It only goes one way. Keep that in mind. Finally, we instantiated an object here, this time from a brand new class, Painter Plus. And since we are extending or inheriting the Painter class, our object was created at 00, zero facing east with no paint, just like it was with the Painter class. Hopefully all this video helped you understand inheritance just a little more. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.